One in two women will experience back and joint pain. These pains often come and go. In most cases, imaging such as X-ray or MRI of the joints is not recommended for people with back or joint pain. This is because imaging often shows abnormalities that are not the cause of the pain that the person is experiencing. These may include disc bulges or worn out discs of the back or signs of arthritis in the knee or hip joint. These kinds of abnormalities are common, even in people who don't have back or joint pain. When abnormalities show up on imaging, it is easily mistaken as the cause of the pain when it is not. Doctors may recommend imaging if a person has a history of cancer, unexplained weight loss, a fever or recent infection, loss of bowel or bladder control, or weakness or loss of feeling in the legs. If any abnormalities were seen in previous imaging, there is little benefit in repeating the imaging because in most cases, they don't change. Unnecessary imaging can delay starting treatments that work. It can also cause worry and expose people to unnecessary radiation and costs. There are many things you can do. For pain relief, use arthritis creams and paracetamol. Sit less, move more to maintain muscle strength and manage knee and joint pain. Keep in touch with friends and family.